It is now official those will be found in possession of illegal firearms in six counties of the North Rift affected with the banditry will face the full wrath of the law. This comes as an amnesty period of three days given by the state comes to an end. The period was given for those with illegal firearms to surrender them over to authorities. So far, only four illegal firearms have been surrendered. This includes a brain gun recovered from Loya Party village in Turukana South, an ARX 200 Barretta, and an FN recovered in Amarel sublocation within Pokot Central sub county. Similarly, an AK 47 rifle with one magazine loaded with three rounds of ammunition has been surrendered by a member of the public to authorities in Baragui, Samburu County. Statistics from the Minister of Interior show that in the last six months, over 16 police officers have been maimed and killed by bandits in the North Rift. The number of locals killed is at 100, whereas hundreds of families have negatively been affected by banditry. Tens of schools have also been forced to shut down as some were touched. The same applies to homes. Tulifunga shule sapapu ya milia risasi ilikuwa kwa hapa karibu na watu walikuwa kuvia maisha yao. Hata wa mama wajawasito wanalala mstuni, hata mungina alijisalia kwa mstuni. The surge in criminal activities in the region has since seen the deployment of military to complement police operation in wiping out bandits from the entire region. A down to dusk curfew has also been imposed for the next 30 days in the affected counties starting 14th February 2023. Interior CS Kidura Kindiki further clarifying that only Kiriza Division in Samburu County will be excluded from the curfew operation. However, ODM leader Raila Odinga says military deployment in internal matters of our nation has to go through parliament approval. He says the move to involve the military in the commercial warfare operation is illegal. Parliament must approve deployment of the security internally. I mean, the security is operating internally. They cannot be operating under another security arm. The military, that is. They should all the time be independent. Reports have it that military soldiers have already started arriving in parts of Baringo, Samburu, Elgeo Marakwet, Turukana, Laikipia and West Pokot as the planned commercial relief operation kicks off. Wanahama na msigo yao ya uwalifu, wanafuka mpaka. Wakati ambapo hii operation itakuja kuisha, watarudi na iso bunduki. Wale wana, wanao tafuta njia kutoroka. Raisi ya tusaidie, afunge mipaka yote, ili bunduki zote mpaka itolewe. Already there are fears of the unknown as hundreds of locals flee their homes in several villages of the targeted zones as KDF boots hit the ground. Schools and businesses are expected to feel the impact when locals flee even though some have welcomed the move to use the military in dealing with the banditry. The issue of dialogue, suspend it, let operation go on. They should not be seen again running away from uh, the scene. Let them come back because it is about grass. Yeah. Why are they running away? Hile imesemekana, even if kitu hii itachukua operation hii, itachukua kama mwaka moja, avadhali chukue, lakini tuwe hands free kutoka illegal guns, Ambazo ziko kamutika mikononi ya wajambazi ambazo wanaishi hapa ndani ya Turkana. Residents have also urged the government to investigate local leaders who have been accused of having a hand in banditry and their criminal activities. Among issues they want addressed is equality on matters development. They say this will help address the challenges facing them. And anyone who objects the operation activity, that person is questionable. That person has to be investigated. Franklin Wala, K24 TV.